This is the Fiat T Line 743 with a Ducato cab. Quite a big storage block of the back. Let's quickly go round. So you can see it all round. A smaller storage compartment on this side. Um, there's the bike rack window. Uh, camera, reverse camera. You can see because the bed, fixed, fixed double bed in the middle, queen size, whatever it is. So you've got a big opening this side and then the other door and the other hatch is uh, smaller the other side. A couple of little slots in there for things. A little shelf in there. Here's the gas cupboard. Gas bottle in there. Don't run off there. Always off when you're driving. Toilet cassette. Put a handle, slides out, it's in there, it's a handle underneath with, a, with wheels, like a luggage trolley. Clip there when you open the back door there, hold it in place there. That's that in there. Every window's got blinds on, bin there. Ice cream, so leave it closed when you shut the door. You bend it. Lucky sunroof has a uh, fly screen and a sun blind visor. So all the all the windows have got that as well. Fly screen there. and a sun blind there. Kitchen. I'll just go here quickly. Pull that up there, it's got gas um, springs like, uh, like on the boot of your car. And then down there you won't see it, there's a, there's a plug socket for a TV, TV point um, and a plug when you plug into the mains. Table, unplugs like that, obviously you, you spin it around there, I won't do it because it's uh, one handed. Spin it around first, just so I can take the weight of it. It's got levers under here for the, you can slide it around. And the front, the captain's chairs, so they swivel around to meet the table, which gives it more space there. Sink, which these actually come out and go there as shelves. And this is the only model with a built in chest, fridge, or freezer. You can adjust the thermostat there um, to make it cold, to make it icy, or just cold as a fridge. And that runs off a 12 volt battery, so that is. Always running off the uh, cold now, off the um, leisure battery, so that's good when you're when you're off the grid. So yeah, there you go. All, lines, all the uh, handles you put them down a bit for that. Loads of storage. Gas hob, cook and grill there. That runs off the uh, obviously off the gas bottles, fridge. A little freeze compartment there, but then you got the obviously the sunken chest freezer as well. You can use. And this fridge runs off um, all three powers, but it's only a cool box off of the battery when you're driving. Otherwise it runs off the mains or the gas. This is the electric bed. Push the button there, comes down. That is on there, clips. Clips over there, a bit of metal aluminium part there, there you go. That is on there. It automatically stops, so you can't go too far. And as you can see, the, uh, the net is on there. Clips up to these on there, like that. Get on there. Like that. And there you go. I'll just stick, put that back up. Obviously, this is just for storage, but when, when you're driving, try not to have the ladder on there because it can leave marks. It can rub, rub on the, uh, for the vibrations of driving and the ceiling. Right. Large nice double bed. Cupboards in there. You can actually lift the, the bottom of it and sink down into the storage compartment. Um, Little, not the biggest of uh, wardrobes there, but you've got plenty of stools underneath and around it. And then you've got the toilet there, and the shower there. They lift the tray up, 
there and then you can and there's little uh, straps on here take them off and then you can close the shower door if you feel like it it's quite tight um and that is about it that is the seven four three and yeah nice big summary if you can open up that is a nice part of it